yeah this week you know it's been pretty pretty crazy uh with a lot of runners uh that you know uh we uh we saw a lot of you know crazy kind of uh, runners that run into the day and you know tons of traps uh but you know also plenty of good opportunities right you know that's why alex uh made like 80k uh 88,000 or something like almost like a 90k this week for him so you know it's uh crazy right uh and also you know his, his watch list i don't know man it's like pretty spot on i think he's still on a hundred percent winning rate uh you know like 100 percent uh, of the time it work for the september so you know i don't know you know, like a lot of people <laughs> saying uh uh that uh uh you know they still lose or uh you know they're not making enough money or you know etc but guys i mean if you knew uh just focus on the watch list okay you don't have to kind of uh go over the tickers or like you know trying to find them and then analyze it and then try to you know trade for yourself instead of you know your mic uh alex done the work for you i'm doing the work for you you know like uh, i woke up like four or five in the morning uh, of course you know not like four or five uh market time but you know since i live in europe uh, time zone a little bit different but the idea is that we up really early doing all the work for you guys to putting out you know the watch list, the plan of the attack. I mean, that's, you know, that's half the work. I would say maybe seven cent, uh, uh, you know, 70% of the work. You know, if you look at the, the watch list, uh, OPAD, I think, hit like 18 exactly, uh, GDEV, 13 exactly. So, you know, only you only need one of those to make your daily pay. And, uh, and yes, you know, you know, if it's that still small, I don't know, it's like you need to work on with uh, patience and maybe adding to winner or like hold on to your winners a little bit more. And we have tons of videos on that as well. So I'm not going to go over it today, but uh, I want to kind of, you know, touch on one of the topic. I mean, I've been getting a lot of questions on and I mean, I mean look at this, the watch list, OPAT. Man, it's just so sick. Okay. Old path from 18. And look where it hit at open. 18, uh, 1795. I mean, uh, you know, you got like almost <laughs> like, you know, six bucks out of it. You know, five bucks here. Uh, you could easily short here and, you know, set a stop maybe 1820 or something like that. But it's like, it's just so spot on. I think the main point here I'm trying to say is that you need to prove to yourself that this is not random. Okay. I can make money day in and day out based on that setup. And this is really the solid kind of turning point for me when I realized that, okay, so trading is not really random. It's really, you know, all about probabilities you know and assessing you know uh more like a risk and, and reward type of thing i mean yes anything could happen right but those are you know the outliers you we have to combine that to the strategy as well and when you first start like i said don't try to focus too much on the money but it's uh you know focus on that process focus on that you know setup and don't change okay you cannot simply switch from one setup to another one because that will screw up everything. You know, when you first started, you know, you, you want to trade low hanging fruit, let me trade first resistance. But then instead of, you know, ch you just going back and forth, you know, to a different setups. So how can you know if that setup is going to work or not? Okay. I mean, if you can track multiple setups, I mean, and that's really up to you. But for me, I just stick to the old fashioned way. Uh, you know, I'm not really good at that. So I try to master one, one setup first. Okay. <clears throat> and that was the low hanging fruit. 
and I, you know basically I was trying to prove to myself that okay I found this setup let's say let's see if I can make 10 bucks or 20 bucks for a month right and then go from there you know to 40 80 160 300 400 500 thousand and once I reach to that point when I have enough data that okay I know this is the one okay now it's just I just need to work on sizing and sizing it's really just like emotional kind of thing that you know it's really in your head and first of all you need to have enough money uh, to be able to use size right I mean and the only way for you to do that is to grow your account to a point that you know you can scale up slowly that's it's not affecting your emotion and you know you cannot simply trading 10,000 shares when you have only $5,000 account right or like you know $10,000 account you cannot go in all the time or like use 50% of your buying power in one trade it just really doesn't make sense and this is you know the things that you have to overcome and but the key thing here the main kind of point I'm trying to make here is that stick to one setup master that setup okay and then you can move on okay once you are profitable like let's say you know once you made I don't know like 100k or something like that you know set that you know 30 or 50k aside you know put in your bank account you only need like 50k to 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 basically day trade okay for small caps I think 50k it's plenty enough and you know once you have that 50k back in your account then you can okay so I've been profitable with this setup you know I master it now I can move on to the next one and that's what I did right I mastered the low hanging fruit the death line all that and then I move on to first resistance and up to this point lately I try to go long as well and you know I can show you one of my chart here Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.